notwithstanding in this rejoice not that the spirits are subject unto you but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven those are the people of God when you believe on the Lord the sign shall follow them and because the sign shall follow them the mighty power of the Lord will so much follow you that no evil will come your way in Jesus' name. But coming back to that same Acts of the Apostles chapter 8. Acts of the Apostles chapter 8. We'll read from verse 4 again. Therefore, they that were scattered abroad went everywhere preaching the word. And now we have one of them. Many of them scattered abroad and they went preaching the word. And the Lord could not have written down, you know, the testimony of every one of them because the book will not be able to contain that. And so it gives us just one example of those people that went. And with the power of God following them, with the protection of the Lord following them, verse 5. Then Philip went down to the city of Samaria and preached Christ unto them. And the people with one accord give heed unto the things which he spake, hearing and seeing the miracles which he did. It wasn't only the apostles that did miracles in those early days, all the people that went for the went in the power of the Lord, miracles follow them. In all our districts this year, there will be miracles. There will be signs and wonders. Everywhere we go, brother, sister, child of God, believer, those who are standing on the word of God, and you are steadfast, and you are committed to this word of the Lord, and you believe in the name of Jesus Christ, you believe in the authority of the word of God. Everywhere you go, signs and wonders and miracles will follow you in Jesus' name. Philip was not an apostle. He was just one of the leaders, one of the workers in the household of faith. And the miracles followed. Why should not miracles follow you? Why should not the power of God follow you? Why should not the signs follow you? The promise of God is, he that believes. All these signs shall follow them that believe. Not only the apostles. That's why it says, and Philip went down to the city of Samaria and preached Christ unto them. And the people with one accord gave ye to do things which Philip spake, hearing and seeing the miracles which he did. For unclean spirits crying with loud voice came out of many that were possessed with them, and many taken with palsies. Those will be healed this year. I did few or many. Those who will be healed in our districts and groups and regions and states and nations in Africa and beyond Africa this year through us, are there few or many? Many. Yeah, that's what it says right there. For this spirits crying with loud voice came out of many that were possessed with them, and many taking with palsies, and that were lame were healed. In verse 8, and there was what? Great, great, great joy in that city is happening already. But look here in Acts of the Apostles, chapter 2. Acts of the Apostles, chapter 2. Do you remember what Jesus Christ said? His sign shall follow them that believe. He said, In my name they will cast out devils. Then he said, In my name they will speak with new tongues. They be baptized with the Holy Ghost. They have the power, the anointing, the unction, the authority of the Holy Ghost. They have the dynamite of the Holy Ghost in their lives. And this is the year of the power of the Holy Ghost in our church. In Acts of the Apostles chapter 2, I'm reading from verse 4. It says that they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with all the tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. You know what? They had never seen anybody that spoke in new tongues. But Jesus gave the promise. And he said, these are the signs that will follow the people that believe that I'm going to heaven. I'll be with the Father and I will pray the Father and he will give you the promise of the Holy Ghost. And when that Holy Ghost comes, he'll make you speak in new languages. And even though they have never seen anybody that received that power and that spoke in new tongues, it says, and they were all filled. How many of them were filled? How many of them were filled? Is the promise of the Holy Ghost for you? Speaking in tongues, is it for you? The power of the Holy Ghost is it for you? 
yes, it's for everyone. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with all the tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. And then in verse 38, Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. And ye shall receive, and ye shall receive, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. For the promise is unto you and to your children and to them that are far off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. Do you remember another promise the Lord Jesus has given us there when he said, These signs shall follow them that believe. Number one, in my name they cast out devils. I've read that to you how they did that. Number two, it says they will speak with new tongues. Number three, it says if they drink any deadly sin, it shall not hurt them. No poison will kill you. No poison will be able to destroy your life. You lay your hand on that sin in the name of Jesus. The power of the Lord will transform every poison in that place. And then your life will be secured and safe and protected and preserved in Jesus' name. We're looking at 2 Kings chapter 4, verse 39. 2 Kings chapter 4. And we're reading it from verse 39. 2 Kings chapter 4. We're reading from verse 39. And one went out into the field to gather herbs, that's vegetable, and found a wild vine, and gathered thereof the wild gods, a snapful, and came and shared them into the pot of pottage, but they knew them not. This was accidental. This was unintentional. It wasn't something that he did deliberately, saying, I want to test the power of God. I want to test the promise of No, this was not testing anything or testing anybody. This was just through their ignorance because they knew them not in verse 14. So, he poured out for the men to eat. And it came to pass, as they were eating of the pottage, that they cried out and said, O thou man of God, there is death in the pot. It was poisonous. And, and Jesus now gives us, in the New Testament, he says, If they drink any deadly thing, if they eat any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. And these people didn't know, and they cooked something that was poisonous. And he began to feel it immediately. And he said, Oh man of God, there is death in the floor, in the porch. And they could not eat there of verse 41. And he said, Then bring meal. And he cast it into the porch. And said, Pour out for the people that they may eat. And there was no harm in the porch. There was no harm in the porch. The Lord will take all their harm away. Anything that poisons, anything that hurts, anything that harms, anything wanting to take your life, wanting to destroy you, the Lord will take it away in Jesus' name. And there was no hurt and no harm in the pot. In Zechariah chapter 2, Zechariah chapter 2, I am reading now from verse 3, Zechariah chapter 2, we are reading from verse 3. And behold, the angel that talked with me went forth, and another angel went out to meet him, and said unto him, Run, speak to this young man, saying, Jerusalem shall be inhabited as towns without walls for the multitude of men and cattle therein. The Lord will multiply our membership. In verse 5, For I, says the Lord, will be unto her a wall of fire round about. Of a great, great miracle, the Lord said, and surround us with fire. And he will be that fire. And no evil will be able to penetrate and come to hurt or harm us in Jesus' name. I, the, I, I, for I, says the Lord, will be unto high a wall of fire round about and will be the glory in the midst of 
her. Verse 8, for thus says the Lord of hosts, after the glory as he sent me unto the nations that spoiled you, for he that touches you touches the apple of his eye. He that touches you touches the apple of his eye. And that's why we know that this year the Lord will protect every one of us. He will preserve our lives. And we know that the Lord is going to heal every sickness. He's going to cast out every evil power, every, every evil in our midst. And He's going to preserve us in glorious strength in Jesus' name. We're coming back to Mark chapter 16. Mark chapter 16. And we're reading from verse 20. And the went forth. I want you to notice that word. The wage. The wage. The went. You see in verse, in verse 15, he said, go. And then we have the testimony now that those people, they didn't just sit down. They didn't just say, only bless me and bless me. It says the session follow. It's those who are on the move, those who are on the go, those who are moving on and moving on and moving on in the strength of the Lord, in obedience to the Lord. And the wait is the people that obey the Lord in going and taking the gospel to every creature. Those are the people that are going to receive the blessing. We are going to receive the blessing. And they went forth and preached everywhere. The Lord walking with them and confirming the word for signs following. It's as we go, it's as we go, the Lord himself will continue to confirm the word. Remember that word went, that word went, the went, the went, the went. I want you to come back to Acts of the Apostles chapter 8. Acts of the Apostles chapter 8. We must move, we must go, we must preach, we must proclaim. I must tell the people the lost about the salvation of the Lord Jesus Christ. Acts chapter 8 verse 4. Therefore, they that were scattered abroad, give me the next word, went everywhere preaching the word. And then in verse 5, then Philip was the word. Do you see here? Is the word went. As they went, that's why the signs followed them. That's why the power of God is supernatural. The signs and the wonders, that's why it followed them. They went to do what the Lord had called them to do, what he told them to do. And it says then Philip went down to the city of Samaria and preached the gospel unto them. And the people with one accord gave heed unto, unto those things which Philip spake, hearing and seeing the miracles which he did. And for unclean spirits, crying with loud voice came out of many that were possessed with them and many taking with pulses and that were lame were healed and there was great 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 joy in that place please understand the power follows the people that go in obedience to the word of the Lord we're looking at Acts of the Apostles chapter 11 Acts chapter 11, I'm reading from verse 19. Acts chapter 11, verse 19. Now they which were scattered abroad upon the persecution that arose about Stephen traveled as far as Phenice. Whether they went, they traveled, that means the same thing. They traveled, they went, and they went as far as Phenice and Cyprus and Antioch preaching the word to none but unto the Jews only and some of them were men of Cyprus and Cyrene which when they were come to Antioch spake unto the Grecians preaching the Lord Jesus and the hand of the Lord was over there. You see that? You see that? And the hand of the Lord, that means the might of the Lord. That means the strength of the Lord. That means the signs and the wonders. That means the power of the Lord. And the hand of the Lord was with them. And a great number believed and turned unto the Lord. They went out preaching the gospel. They went out declaring the gospel. They went out proclaiming that Jesus Christ is Savior. They went out proclaiming that Jesus died on the cross of Calvary. 
and he did not die for himself. He died for the sins of the whole world. And whosoever will call upon the name of the Lord and believe on the Lord, that person will be saved. The sins will be forgiven. And God will look at him as if he had never seen the peace of God was settled in his heart, in his life. And that's what the Lord is telling us to do. And as we go and we proclaim the gospel and preach the gospel, the same signs and the same power will follow every one of us in Jesus' name. We're looking at chapter 14 of Acts. Acts chapter 14. And I'm reading there from verse, from verse 1. I want you to remember the word again, the wage. The wage. The wage. It is in that going. I'm proclaiming the gospel. It's in that going. I'm preaching the word of God. The word that says it is that going and preaching that brings the supernatural power, signs and wonders upon them. Acts chapter 14 verse 1. And it came to pass in Iconium that they, what? You see, I'm telling you that they went. And every time they go like that, in the strength of the Lord. According to the commission of the Lord, every time they went like that, fulfilling the great commission, the power of the Lord, signs and wonders always followed. This year, we'll be telling you what we're going to do in Lagos here. We're going to proclaim the gospel in some real dynamic way in our places, in our districts, in our groves and old districts, and you'll join hands with the people of God. Am I right? And as we go and do that in obedience of the Lord, great will be the signs and the wonders that the Lord will perform in Jesus' name. Verse 1 again, and it came to pass in Iconium that the wedge both together into the synagogue of the Jews and so spake that a great multitude, both of the Jews also, and also the gentle of the Greeks believed. But the unbelieving Jews turned all the Gentiles and made them, made their minds even affected against the brethren. Long time therefore abode they, speaking boldly in the Lord, which gave testimony unto the word of his grace, and granted what? Signs and wonders to be done by their hands. You know, it's in going and preaching the gospel, going and presenting the gospel, and going and declaring the gospel. It is that that brings the signs, the wonders, the supernatural power to come upon our lives and then to come upon the lives of the people we are ministering to. And this year is a year of obedience. I said this year is a year of obedience. Proclaiming the word of the Lord and that proclamation will bring the power of the Almighty God upon the people we go to minister to. Acts of the Apostles chapter 16. Acts chapter 16, from verse 16. And it came to pass as we... What? You see? As we went. You know, there are some people, they just they see, they see people somewhere and they are expecting the signs to follow. No! It's the people who are moving and the people who are going and the people who are preaching and the people who are soul winning and the people who are evangelizing, the people who are preaching to sinners and they're declaring to sinners, here is the way of salvation. Those are the people these signs shall follow. Some, some nothing follows, somebody is just standing there. Somebody who stayed in one place, this has to move from region to region, from state to state, and from nation to nation, from community to community, from place to place. This has to go like that, then as you move on, then the signs will follow. The signs shall follow them. That believe in my name, they cast out devils while you are going. In verse 16, chapter 16, verse 16 of us, and it came to pass as we went to prayer. If such in that self possessed with an, a, a spirit of divination met us, which brought her master's much gain by so saying. And the same followed Paul and us and Christ, saying, These men are the servants of the Most High God, which show unto us the way of salvation. And this she did many days, but 
Paul being grieved on and said unto the spirit, I command thee. Do you remember Jesus said, This time shall fall them that believe. In my name they cast out devils. And these people were going. These people were going. The way the Lord has sent them. And these themselves began to say, These are the men that show unto us the way of salvation. And then Paul said, I command thee in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her. What happened? And it came out the same hour. Came out the same hour. That same power will follow every one of us in Jesus' name. Acts of the Apostles chapter 19. Acts of the Apostles chapter 19. I'm reading there from verse 8. Acts chapter 19 verse 8. Give me the first three words there. Tell me out loud. You know, the word of God is very clear that this year, it's obedience that God, that God blesses. That it's when we understand the implication and the impact and the call to the Great Commission. And then we arise, so we do what the Lord has commissioned and called us to do. And it's in doing that that we're going to have the miracle power of God following us. You've seen it over and over. He went in, uh, in Mark chapter 16 verse 20. And then in all these places as we read, as they went, as they went, as they went. And then the signs and the wonders followed after, followed after them. Acts chapter 19 verse 8. And he went into the synagogue and spake boldly. For the space of three months, disputing him and persuading the things concerning the kingdom of God. But when divers were had it, and believed not, but spake evil of that way before the multitude, he departed from them and separated the disciples, disputing daily in the school of Pontyrannus. And this continued by the space of two years, so that all they that dwelt in Asia heard the word of the Lord Jesus, both Jews and Greeks. What's the result of that? They have done what the Lord told them to do. They preached the gospel. They've gone everywhere and they have preached the gospel. What was the result of that? In verse 11, and God wrought what kind of miracles? special miracles by the hand of Paul. And as we obey the Lord this year, miracles which we have never seen or will see. Signs and wonders we have never heard about, we will hear about them in Jesus' name. All these believers in the New Testament, it says they obeyed the Lord. And as they, as they went, as the Lord told them and commanded them and commissioned them to go, that's when the power followed after them and the miracles, the signs and the wonders followed after them. It says over there in verse 11, and God wrought special miracles by the hands of Paul so that from his body were brought unto the sea and cashiers or aprons and the diseases departed from them, and the evil spirits, what did they do? They went out of them. Come back to Mark chapter 16. Mark chapter 16. We're looking at verse 19. So, after the Lord had spoken unto them, he was received up into heaven, and he such on the right hand of God. Now Jesus has gone to heaven. After he gave the great commission, he went to heaven. And he's at the right hand of the Father of God in heaven. The question is, what was he doing there? And what's he doing there now? In Romans chapter 8, verse 34. Romans chapter 8, verse 34. After Jesus gave the commission, and he said, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. He that believeth not shall be damned. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name they will cast out devils. In my name they will speak with new tongues. They will lay their hands on the sick and they shall recover. And they shall take up serpents. If they drink any deadly thing.